To me, it seems almost uh, ridiculous that somebody would sell it that low, especially when they knew its history. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm basing it what I'm, on, on what I've seen them sell for yeah, in, in auctions in Europe and the United States, but uh, the decision is yours. Thanks for coming in, man. All right, man. Thanks. Uh, one last question. Uh, where, where can I get these for such low prices? I understand why the seller is not happy with that. You know, the fact is, these things are undervalued, and uh, it's probably best that he holds on to it because the bottom line is it's difficult to replace for less than its current market value. Dave, he's been in the coin business his entire life, and I'm gonna take his opinion. You know, I, I'd give you a thousand bucks for the coin. <laughs> Is this a real offer, or? That's that's a legitimate offer, yeah. Mm, that's not a legitimate offer. You're just using your position here, trying to buy something for below its market value. The, the way market value is determined is if two people agree on a price. If you don't like my price, you don't have to take How it. How about 4000 No, there's no money to be made. I have a final offer for you, 3500 And I'll take cash, $100 bills. I guess we're not going to make a deal, man. You lost, my friend. <laughs>